<laughs> that was round five. It's yeah, round six, and yeah, Cole Carrier control is banned. Yeah. And we are, <laughs> and we are on top of everything. We are really, we're, we're on top of it. We are making it humble in the booth. We are well-informed professionals. Adam Franzi, Forrest Camperman, Grixis Death Shadow, Eldrazi Tron, round six, Lego. <laughs> This looks like the uh, <laughs> the natural. No, no map. Just the tower of power, huh? That's a Does little. This just says turn three Tron or natural turn just three. Tur it's just says turn okay. three Tron. Okay. Adam off to a good start here with the tower of power. Camperman gonna cycle Ooh, straight. Ooh, seven damage in one turn. Turn one. Ooh. Yeah. I'm drawing very live. All right, all right, all right. We need a fetch now, Forest. We need to fetch. Big land drop here. Big land drop. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would. That, you got to at least take one. You are Death Shadow. Probably want to take three. See, so you have the thought sees. Mm -hmm. That's big here. What land is he thinking? I'm thinking Watery Grave or Blood Crypt. Oh, man. Ooh, Watery Grave. 15. 15. Player ends the first turn at 13 or less life really fills out a lot of your... It's a big one to That's hit. It's a big hit. Yeah, maybe cycle another Street Wraith here. Come on, 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 come on. No! Faded it. Not going to be able to fade <sighs> it. I don't feel like I'm going to be able to fade that one for two days, but I faded it. <sighs> Serum Visions. Just going to scry two. One on top, one on bottom. That's a good sweat right there. That was good. That was a good sweat. All right, over to Franzi. How about a mine? Well, we picked up a map. Mm -mm. So if he's mm -hmm. got any other Tron piece, he's got the natural if he wants it. Yeah. Well, he could have it on turn three. What is this? What is this land? Work with me here, Adam. Yes. All right. All right. All right. Eldrazi Temple going to come down. No turn three Tron, but a turn two Mattery Shaper it is. As Franzi will pass the turn back. Whoo! <laughs> Fade some big ones there. <laughs> Fade <it> some big <laughs> ones. Hey, you made it through this game yeah, so far. Not so bad. far, not bad. Now I, I, I'm going to tell you right now. If I see if I see Del Five for an angler, you're going to lose it. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm, out of, I'm out of the booth. If I see Del Five for an angler, maybe you want to keep an opt in there for flashback purposes. <laughs> There's a blood crypt untap. Forest gonna fall down to twelve. Big follow up. Yes. <sighs> Faded it. Alright, that's Del Four for a Tassiger. Fade in it yeah. left and right. <laughs> <laughs> tough to run better than you right now. Cool. Pretty tough to run better. Just three different bingo just, squares that I missed. Just, just dodging, yeah. dodging bullets, Matrix style. Yeah. <laughs> Literal, just Keanu Reeves over yeah, here. <laughs> a ghost quarter here from Franzi will allow him to cast an expedition map. We might see a chalice for one as the follow up, and we do. Well, that puts a puts a crimp on some Snapcaster op sort of plans. <laughs> Might have to try to get it by him now. Oh yeah, <laughs> the, the the test. Snapcaster mage flashing back opt into a chalice of the void should be automatic bingo. <laughs> <laughs> like end of contest. <laughs> Mattery shaper, of course, gonna hold back. Cause we're gonna go back over to Camperman. He's gonna play a scalding tarn. I, do, I am really excited for when the players go back and replay their matches. Oh, of course. And it's like, what are these two? They're just shouting about bingo. Yeah, what are these two idiots yelling about? Here comes Tasker. Ooh, a snap block. All right. Trigger from Mattery Shaper. Top card. Oh, the power plant. Oh. 
only one away from the Tron, and he's got the Expedition map. He's good to go next turn. Yes, he is. Then the real spells start coming. And Chalice for one locks out a lot of interaction from Death Shadow, so. Reality Smasher appears to be the draw step there for Franzi. And the Bringer also in hand. Yeah, that chalice is going to lock out Thought Scour, four copies. Thought Seize, four copies. Inquisition of Kozlek, two copies. Stubborn Denial, main deck, three copies. Fatal Push, three copies. Serum Visions, four copies. Opt, two copies. Heck of a chalice here, folks. Franzi will sacrifice this expedition map. I think he wants the mine. He does. His Tron is online. So does he want to go to Endbringer, or does he want to up the clock here with Reality Smasher? Oh, also, Chalice shuts off Death Shadow. I yeah, can't, I cannot, I cannot forget that. I kind of like playing Reality Smasher and walking Ballista for one. There's not really a, a lot of ways where you get punished for on Ballista for one once you've locked out his one cost spells. And if uh, Cameraman had something like Terminate, I'd much rather the Terminate go to a Reality Smasher than to an Endbringer. Well, we're going to see an Endbringer here. Franzi wants to try to get that set up. He'll pass the turn back. There is the Terminate. That'll take care of that. So we're going to go over to Camperman. He'll play a Bloodstained Mire. Tasker's going to come in for four. Franzi's going to fall down to 16. I think Franzi's position is still quite favorable, but that was the concern with the line of play he took. Well, Franzi drew a pretty good one here. Let the carnage begin. Neat. It's a powerful card. He wants to read this. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, you know, if you got stubborn now, might as well give it a shot. You got to try. Yeah. Well, Karn, uh, no. Karn's in. I mean, what what's the hope here? That you you, you task a into something relevant? Yeah, that's going to go underneath Karn. That one's exiled. And if we get a restart, Tasker will be starting on Adam Franzi's side. Now we're going to go over to Camperman, who's just going to play a Snapcaster Mage, try to clock this Karn a little bit, bring it down to one counter. It's a polluted Delta. Any copies of Colagon? Two copies of Colagon. So Two to break out of the Chalice Lock. That's typically what you'll find in Grixis Delver. I was going to say, playing a, a naked Snapcaster with a Terminate in the graveyard, awfully aggressive. But if he's, if he's drawing to something that allows him to get out from under all of this, then you can justify it. Pluto Delta, along with some other lands here, are going to be sacrificed, it looks like. Looks like they're just making sure life totals are on the up and up. So a couple of lands going to go to the graveyard here. Blood Crypt untapped. Steam Vents. Swamp. Four mana available. Any delving to be done here for Camperman is the question. And how much? Because you've got some skin in the There's game. There's only four cards in the graveyard.
Yeah. <laughs> Delving, three. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Let's go over to Franzi. Another Tron piece here for Adam. Access to 11 mana this turn, or 12 if it's Eldrazi mana for Adam Franzi. Let's go up with Karn, up to five. Exile a card, likely to be a one mana spell. Yeah. Yep, there goes Inquisition. A little bit of the downside right now to Karn. This is Reality Smasher. Oh, and it's going to attack. Gurmag Angler probably forced to block right now. If he doesn't block, the Walking Bliss in hand finishes it off. Well, looks like we have no block. And the Walking Bliss in hand will finish it off. Going to go upstairs with the powerful artifact creature, and Adam France is going to win game number one here over Forest Camperman. Eldrazi Tron up a game here over Grixis Death Shadow. And I don't mind the no block there because Cameraman's not beating a walking ballista in that spot with the amount of mana that Franzi has. Yeah, there's just too much going on, too difficult to beat. And Franzi's draw very, very good in that first game. To the sideboards we're going to go. We'll start with Forrest Camperman, who's got two Young Pyromancer, two Liliana the Veil, two Teamer Battle Rage, two Ceremonious Rejection, two Collective Brutality, two Kozak's Return, a Stubborn Nile, a Nile Spell Bomb. And a Disdainful Stroke. I, I like the Disdainful Stroke and the two copies of Ceremonious Rejection quite a bit. Um, I wouldn't really mess around with too much of this other stuff. I mean, Lily on the Veil is okay, but a lot of these creatures trade profitably or generate tokens. I think Young Pyromancer is a tough sell against Walking Ballista, so I'd probably just bring in the counters. For Adam Franzi, he's got a lot of two of, of his own. Two Blight Herder, two Sorceress Spyglass. Two Ratchet Bomb, two Warping Whale, two Grafdigger's Cage, two Relic Progenitus, a Witch Bane Orb, a Surgical Extraction. And a Basil Scholar. I think the two copies of, of Relic of Progenitus are pretty easy to bring in here. And I could buy the Ratchet Bombs too. It's just a cheap way of interacting. But uh, light sideboarding here as well, I think. Well, it looks like light sideboarding here for maybe both players. As Forrest Camperman will be on the play here for game number two. Now, my friends, we at Star City Games have a lot of different tournaments that we are excited about. And one of which is the Season 2 Regional Championships. Got an awesome play mat. Plan for a lot of cash and prizes and an invite to that Season 2 Invitational. You can learn more about that tournament and plant your flag right now. Plant your flag at the StarCityGames.com Season 2 Regional Championships. On November 4th, play modern at any one of the 11 regional locations across the U.S. The first 200 players to register for each event will receive a hammer and scale playmat and Kraken token just for signing up. Regional championships are part of the SCG Tour with SCG points for all players. Top eight competitors earn a trophy, a share of $5,000, and a spot on the Season 2 SCG Invitational. Visit go.starcitygames.com slash regionals to learn more. Go.starcitygames.com slash regionals to learn more information about what should be a really fun weekend of magic for everybody and a really great... Uh, Really great play, Matt, too. Uh -huh. Yeah. You have to pick one of these two decks in a tournament. Which one are you playing? Death Shadow. Yeah. Death Shadow feels like it's doing more unfair stuff. In formats like this, you know, you know with some of the older cards, I, I generally like to load up on zero and one mana proactive cards. I think that's a pretty successful strategy, generally speaking. Well, Drazi Tron, definitely powerful, but too many hands for it. The first thing you do is, you know, a turn three matter reshaper. And that's just not my kind of language. All right, Death Shadow or Storm? Death Shadow. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. How, uh, how much do you still like burn? Is it just like a modern deck that you just kind of play when you're hanging out at home, or is it something you, you actually like? It's fine. Like? I think the Death Shadow matchup is pretty solid. It's good against Storm. Um, a lot of the creature tribal stuff, I think it's very good against. Unfortunately, uh, Adam's weapon of choice this weekend, Eldrazi Tron, very challenging matchup. That's made the deck worse. Makes sense. They can beat you without Chalice, and they have four Chalices. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. This is very tough. That's a pretty good summary of things, I think, yeah. actually. And the random basilisk caller is not, you know, they got one for no reason, just grandfathered in. Everyone has one and one on the board. It's total nonsense, but we're good against Burn. Yeah, that's true. All right, Forrest is going to take a mulligan here. So let's see, what are we live for here? We got a player ends the first turn at 13 or less life. So close last game. Snapcaster opt. I'm, um, I'm still live on that. Turn three Tron. Delve six or more cards to cast a spell. I mean, how, Street, bad, how bad can a guy run here? Street Wraith. Cast as a creature. My goodness. This should be easy mode. Someone should. Oh, you have Street Wraith. Yeah. There are five different squares. What do you mean? Well, just five different boxes that we could hit in this oh, match sure. alone. Yeah, yeah. No pregame effects. Franz, you got any link? No, he doesn't have any ley lines. Is there a gemstone cavern? No. Come on. All right, well, Cameron's going down to five, making it less likely he can Gurmag Angler, but making it more likely he would be interested in flashing back opt with Snapcaster Mage. That's true. Little That's, swings. Yeah. Just percentage points. <laughs> it's not an all or nothing thing. It's just little bits and pieces here and there. That's what we're banking on here. That's the thing. Anything can happen. Right. Anything can happen. Each round, still a good deck. Still a good deck. All right, Mr. Camperman. Three, four, five cards. Can he find a five he's happy with? Oh, boy, there's a shoulder slump right there. All right, he's going to keep it. He's going to scry. That top card has now become the bottom one. He's on the play. Yeah, I'm not going to go to 13 on turn one this game. Not on a mold of five. Oh, no natural trauma. Yeah, Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I like how no natural trauma can end literally the first turn of the game. Just nope. Yeah. Nope. Watery grave. Let's see the hand here. Ratchet bomb. Oh, boy. Ratchet bomb smasher. Two shapers. A chalice. I think there's another Eldrazi Temple in hand over there, too. Yeah, this hand is, uh, this is not doing Cameraman any favors here. He's probably got to take Chalice. About, about as good of a hand as you can ask for here. Yeah. Probably just has to take Chalice, because if he doesn't, it's basically going to shut off everything he does. This matchup seems tough for Death Shadow. I mean, they can definitely win. We've watched this matchup a lot this year. And part of the problem is a lot of their cards are... You know, they're cost sensitive, they're fatal push and inquisition to Kozilek. And this is a matchup where that actually matters. They're casting five mana creatures. They have spells that cost seven you want to get out of their hand. And so the fact that these cards that in modern typically just get whatever, just kill whatever, uh, don't really work here as effectively is a big part of the problem. Tassiger in hand here for Forrest Camperman. I got to watch this firsthand. In Baltimore, Chad Castell, our resident Obzon guy, with a bunch of fatal pushes and inquisitions and uh, abrupt decays against Reality Smasher and friends. Yeah, how'd that go? Poorly. That was a loss that knocked us out of top four against Zan Saeed and his squad. That is a matter of shaper. We're going to go back over to Forrest Camperman. Camperman might sacrifice the polluted delta on the end step. But he's going to hang tight. To Franzi we go. The Dustbuster, the draw step. There's a Sanctum of Ugin. He's going to come in here for just three. Going to be a little bit more conservative with the Reality Smasher. Actually, it was taken. Pardon me. So he's just going to probably go to Shaper again. So I also got the chalice for one. I guess you could just do that. He's going to check his sideboard real quick, huh? That shadow's got so many ones, and I don't think Franzi has a uh, fourth land in his hand. So chalice on one makes a lot of sense to set here. Yeah, I like it. Ceremony's rejection? Sure. Yeah, that's okay. 
I mean, good for Camperman that he had it, but no big loss from Franzi's perspective. Yeah, if he doesn't have it, the game is basically over. It's not like, you know, Franzi loses if this gets countered. Right. So might as well test the waters. He did. And now we play on. Let's go over to Forrest Camperman now. On a mulligan to five. Facing out a good draw here from Adam Franzi. Death Shadow, a very powerful deck, though. Can work itself through many situations. Here is a Tasker, Del Four. That'll work. Let's go over to Franzi. Tower power the draw. He'll play that tower. Ratchet Bomb, going to have a hard time taking care of Tassiger. We're a ways away. <laughs> and that is another matter reshaper, and here is the bomb. Well, game is, from Cameron's perspective, stable currently. I mean, we have a game of magic here. I'm curious to see what Camperman will draw, but we definitely have a game of magic here. Looks like at least one stubborn isle there in Forest Hand. And right I mean, now, I, I get it. There's a lot of powerful spells in the deck, but so much of what you're fighting over are creatures. There's a chalice. Well, it's also maybe a little bit of recency bias. He got annihilated by Karn last game. Yeah, that's true. Gamron actually sitting pretty good here. Franzi definitely thinking about some things. He's just going to pass, it looks like. Can't cast Karn right now. Terminate. Hmm. I think Franzi would count that as a win. Mm -hmm. We got something to play towards. Yeah, I mean, Ulamog, it does cost 10 mana. He has 7 Eldrazi mana at the moment. Tassiger going to come in. Block with... Mattery Shaper. All right. Free. Yep. <laughs> Couldn't be free. Going infinite. <laughs> Shadow. Bomb up to one. Yep. All right. Let's go back over to Adam. Tower. Eight total mana with regards to Eldrazi. Two away from Ulamog. One mana away from Karn. Interested to see here if Franzi respects the possibility of Serban and Isle. Normally you would just cast it because it's trivial for Death Shadow to keep up one mana for the entire game once they got into the spot. Not necessarily the case here. So Franzi might believe if several denials in Camperman's hand, there still is a chance that he'll put the shields down on some turn. Yeah, right now, Franzi has all his dust, which he can play off of the Eldrazi temples. And, you know, if Camperman doesn't... If either one of these sevens resolves, it's, it should be game. Yes, yes. So... Yeah, he's going to try for... Uh, it looks like he's going to try for all his dust. Again, remember, can't cast Karn yet. So here's the attempt at all his dust. Okay, there's Stubborn Denial. So that takes care of one of those. He's still got Ratchet Bomb to take care of the Death Shadow. So, I mean, Franzi's 20 life. He's still doing fine. Yeah, and it looks like he's he's interested here in chump blocking Tassiker, just trying to draw the resources necessary to cast a little mock and just win the game that way. Yep. Which will make it very easy to win. Hmm. 
2 2 Death Shadow, huh? I smell a Street Wraith. Why would block with the Matter Reshaper? I mean, you, if it does something, you still have the Ratchet Bomb. Ratchet Bomb's probably not doing anything other than killing the one Death Shadow anyway. It's true. Well, here comes your trigger. Well, Franzi's okay with taking two points of damage a turn, and this freezes him out of playing another Death Shadow. Then cool, you know. You can afford to take a hit or two. There's a power plant. Nine mana here for Franzi. Somebody wants a land. Well, he drew an expedition map, which... With the towers in play, he gets a, a major yeah, reboot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a boost. Yeah. He gets a lot of mana out yeah, of this. Yeah, he's actually got a stubborn denial that he can't let... Forrest Camperman cannot let that happen. All right, well, now the coast is clear for Karn. Can't cast it. Six mana. Oh, he's stuck. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. All he can do is pass the turn back. Camperman, depending on what Franzi's draw steps are right now and what Camperman's working with, Camperman can steal this game. It's tough because almost everything at this stage is a hit from Franzi. It's either the mana to cast something huge or a spell. Yeah, maybe he draws like running chalices or something. Who knows? Well, Franzi with a raised eyebrow, he drew a copy of Reality Smasher. Which is not bad. Not my favorite draw, but it's not bad. Let the carnage begin. Disdainful stroke. Not quite. Okay. All right. Back to camp and we go. Oh, no. No, 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 no. There's only five cards in the graveyard. Okay. What's Angler cast? Seven? Yeah, six and a black. Faded Luck. it. Lucky. Faded so it. So lucky. You are so lucky. Five, five fish. Franzi, big draw. There it is. Here comes Ulamog. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uncountable. Boom. And trigger the Sanctum of Ugin. This is a lot. Now, what does he want to target is the Lands. question. Lands. Lands. Yes. yes. Correct. The lands are gone. The trigger from the Sanctum will occur. And Mr. Franzi, I believe, would like another copy of Reality Smasher. Yes. Adam was looking for that next mana source. He found it. Now Umog the Ceaseless Hunger might be helping him move on to 6-0, and oh, folks. Now, I do have a square here, Patrick. No permanents in play. Player loses with no permanents on the battlefield. Hmm. <laughs> Cameraman's got to be smart enough to concede. <laughs> Just got to, you got to be able to concede in this spot. Come on. Oh, boy. Couple copies Concede. of Reality Smasher. Concede. There is some blocking. Don't chump. Don't just there is some blocking to be done on this board. I'm gonna tell you what. There is some blocking to be done here, dude. Can, come on. There is not, a two, three. This four, is a uh, little trigger here from Ulamog. These people have been taught. <laughs> have been taught how to play Magic from different people than I learned how. There go twenty cards. There go 20 cards. Jessica, do concede. Franzi Put your hand out. <laughs> Franzi. Franzi. What are we doing? Franzi's going to take a look. Oh, We're, yeah, got a big draw step <laughs> next. Got to see if you got one turn or two, right? How many cards are in your deck? Come on. 24 cards. 24 cards in Camperman's deck. Uh, Patrick in agony right now. What do you think you're drawing? What card <laughs> is in your deck that you want to draw? No. Oh, okay. no, 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 you have to. Good block. Go to one. 
Good block. Attack him. Attack him. Let him be. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Faded it. Faded it. Oh my god. You yeah. have to. You faded it. You have to be kidding me. Faded it. You have it. Faded it. <laughs>